dating coaches are hijacking the passport bro movement. Let's see it. That's a great title, O'Shea. I ain't gonna lie. I, I definitely gotta react to this one. It's just an amazing title. And and the thing is, is that whenever there is money involved, you're always gonna see the con artists wiggle their way through and make more money than the act than people that are actually genuine about this thing. Your Derek Jacksons, your your fresh and fits, just just con artists selling y'all what they need to sell y'all in order for them to make all the money. They really don't give a shit about y'all, but you know, they just wanna make all the money. Just are a big thing on YouTube, especially in the red pill sector. The dating coaches are a little bit different because they don't look to make the majority of their money off of super chats <clears throat> or AdSense. They can do so, but they also can monetize in different ways. And one of the ways that dating coaches monetize um, one is through consultation. So you book a consultation with one of these guys. You talk about your problems, things like that. Uh, books is another way that they monetize. So they create a book. They keep selling it over and over again. But the next thing they do is they sell courses. And this is something that's a very, very, very vital for dating <laughs> coaches because they can create that. He got them down back. I ain't gonna lie. One course and they can keep selling it over and over again. And some of the courses can range for as little as $49 to as much as $1,000. Now stop the show. No. Why are we talking about that today? Because here we have another dating coach. No fucking way this weird ass motherfucker is a dating coach now. Look at this nigga. Everybody wants to put on a suit and be Kevin Samuels. Oh my God. By the name of John, and he has a struggle channel called Modern Life Dating. Now, Modern Life Dating is, in my honest opinion, a guy who's a complete no talent. And he's a guy that has had a lot of problems before. And if you- He was exposed by Abba and Preach as well, because he is very insecure. Very insecure. Don't believe me. Here's that a- girl on the left look good. Clip of Abba and Preach. Oh, here uh, it is. Pretty much discussing the fact that this guy brags about hitting women. After the last video, I just got people sending me everything. What did you say? I punched a Latina bitch in the face at Rakan. What's Rakan? It's a club in uh, Japan. He lives over there. He was talking shit to, shit to some guy. I guess people just- Wait, wait, wait. So you going over to another country punching they bitches. L listen, man, if you want to leave in a body bag, keep doing what you're doing. You, you might want to stop. Leaking the group chats. He was talking shit to some guy, and the guy said to him, Well, at least I've never been arrested for glassing a bitch. And he's like, Yo, why are you so sensitive? You, you, are you gonna leave next? So that's the, the MLD saying, Like, why are you so sensitive? Why are you bringing that up? And the guy says, I'm not sensitive, just giving back some. And then MLD says, You act like that's the last bitch I'll smite on this planet. Wow. Well, do you think you have healthy habits? Yeah. I think it's very bizarre that someone accuses or says that you bottled a woman in the face and your response is, that didn't happen. Your response is, are you being sensitive right now? Why are you bringing this up? Then it makes me really think you did do that shit. Also, how would you kill this for being so disgusting? So allegedly, this is who this guy is, right? And that's very important. But let's kind of go to another guy here, Donovan Sharp. We all know Donovan Sharp. We've all heard of him. He's a guy who in the past was against the passport bros. And a lot of dating coaches, or, in fact, here's a clip from one of them. He's the guy that wishes he was white. That That's him. Cornball. Tells y'all to not date women with kids when he's dating a woman with a kid. Girls over 23 are leftovers. That's what he said. Not me. He has a, a 40, 45-year-old uh, woman or 50, somewhere in that range, 50-year-old woman. I tell you, these dudes just be lying their ass off. Donovan Sharp's live streams in which they were talking about the passport bro topic. So is if somebody came to you and said, all right, EO, I've got the money to go overseas. I can do it and I will do it. Why is Minister Jap fucking with this, this weird ass nigga? I, what is wrong with you? Should I go overseas if I want to start a family or should I try to? The nigga has Kevin Samuels at the bottom right. Oh, oh, the thirst for views is crazy boy make some hay with a woman here what would you advise them to do 
I'd have to have a conversation with them first. Okay. Um, okay. Because, you know, if you don't know what you're doing here, then you most likely don't know what you're Bingo! doing there Bingo! You stole and, uh, my thunder. Yeah. Yep, yeah. You stole my thunder. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and that would be easily uh, uh, discovered. You know, that would yeah. be easily detected by women. I said this on my show maybe last week or so. I said all women are ruthless. Yep. Every <clears> single <throat> woman on planet Earth. That's right. Uh, American women are outwardly ruthless, which I actually respect. And yep. uh, uh, foreign women are inwardly ruthless. OK, they can't they can't do the same things American women, but they still are ruthless. OK, they still want to take you. They still want the life they want, whatever that is. And so just remember all women, at least in my opinion, and I have a lot of experience, they're all ruthless. Even my mother, everyone's mother on here. I don't want to speak for everybody's mother, but everybody's mother is ruthless. OK, and so but when I think about it for myself, if you don't mind for a second. Yeah, go ahead. You got to it. think about the preparation involved. <laughs> <laughs> to actually God. fly like to Brazil or some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't even get an erection, bro. Like if I had to get on a plane, get a passport. You're a dumbass. You look at them bitches over there. What? I haven't been over there. I've looked at videos of them people over there. Whew. Oh my goodness. How could you not get an erection? For, you know, have this whole plan and shit. Be fucking on Bumble, you know, trying to find a bitch out there and fucking, you know, some foreign land. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't even feel like a man. This is just me. This is just me, you know, uh, to, to each his own. Uh, I, if somebody tells me he likes to do that, I'm, I'm not going to frown upon it. That's that's how okay. you get down. And just be careful. Um, but for me, facts. We, American women are giving away the pussy. Yep. You know, American women are giving it away. It's too easy to get. Yep. Um, and, and I'll say this. That would that's very limiting to just just to think that okay i'm gonna go overseas and get a woman just like us i do worldwide coaching you know I, what oh. about only how is that limiting you're you're broadening broadening your horizon I coach guys here domestically and i said nah i can't coach you you're in russia nah i can't coach you you know you're in china i, okay. I coach men in germany all, all over the world wow uh, okay. and, and i and, and i enjoy that but uh, to me, I feel like if you're a mark here, you're a mark there. Boom. Uh, and they're going to pick it up faster, actually, because they uh, their whole their whole game is about survival over yep. there. Yep. Here in America, women, you know, women can have fun. Uh, I, I, you know, like they can have fun fucking with you. Yeah, right. Over there overseas, I think they really take it serious of how they're going to fuck with you. That's right. They, it's like it's methodical how they fuck with yep. you. Here, they just fuck with you. Okay. <laughs> so that makes sense. EO, before, listen, before I go to Duran, EO, you, dude. I low-key agree with the, the mark shit. If you are a mark over here, you're going to be a mark over. This is why I, I, bro, I've been saying, yo, you got to pick up on game before you go over there. Because a game over here is that women will text you to death. Oh, you're a text buddy. Oh, you're a lunch buddy. Oh, she just playing with you. I think we all got the game over here. The game over there might be totally different. So you need to pick up on game on what they doing over there before game get ran on you. And it might be too late. That might be a life or death game over there. Who knows? I had people in the comments section argue with me. Was, oh, you don't need no game when you over there. Nigga, yes, you do. You don't just go over there like willy nilly. I, it's like walking down the street and you don't in the pitch black and you don't know where you at. Like walking down the alley and expecting everything to be okay. Like, oh, oh, this ain't America. In America, you get robbed over here. You know, they don't allow guns over here. So everything should be good. Like, no, they might not rob you with a gun, but they probably got something else for you. Figure out what, where to go, figure out what games these girls are playing overseas, figure out what activities they got over there, figure out what uh, life after dark is like over there. My sentiments exactly. The dudes that it's see, here's the thing. The only men that the only men who could benefit from getting their passport and going overseas and finding a wife or someone to settle down with are we men. Tiring. Well, not only not just that, but it's it's men who already understand how to handle American women. If you can't get laid in America, you're not going to get laid in Brazil. If you can't get laid in America, you're not going to get laid in Southeast Asia. So for the most part, these guys are against passport bros in the past, historically, right? In the passport bro movement, for the most part, is against dating coaches. I have two clips that I want to play that prove that thought. Here is Ronan the Traveler talking about it here. Uh, me and a guy on the plane was talking about this whole passport bros versus dating coaches. Let me save you some money, young guy. 
any young guy that's listening to dating coach, I'm gonna tell you what you need to do. You don't need a dating coach. All you really need is this. This is the power like he man. That's the, and, and that's such bad advice. That is such bad advice. And so you have the power. All you need to do is get your passport. Um, the, the whole gang thing and all that, it's a way to get your resources. And you need your, you could be putting your resources to better use it. Dog, get, see, and, and that's what I'm saying about these con artists that came in the game. Game was supposed to be female nature, right? Am, am I wrong about that or am I right? And now it came into talking to, trying to get her to take her drawers off and oh, I got to act like this and do it like this. I thought it was female nature. M maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. These bitter women over here who don't appreciate you, you need to get that passport and travel to anywhere you want to go. The world is, is yours. You're in the um, top 1% of the world. We live in a global economy. Everything's global. So why should um, you date on the plantation where you can go out? And that's the problem. People didn't have a problem till we started uh, weighing our options. And and uh, I remember the first guy I saw was uh, Charles, I think Charles Tyler. Um, and he was going to Brazil and I watched the frustrated. And it took me years to actually get off the plantation, but I, I finally got off there. So I'm telling you, start now, work on the things you need to work on. Here is, did you hear that? He cut it off. Uh, O'Shea cut it off, but that was important right there. You. Start now, work on things you need to work on. Work on things you need to work on. You cannot be broke going overseas. Here is Andre Brooks talking about why passport brothers don't need dating coaches. Look at the women that dating coaches might want you to throw game at. Judge for it. I don't like cleaning. Nah, Ooh, I don't like it. Look at these hoes. Look at her job terminated as a result. Story time, I think that's that's that that's that therapist that's crazy i guess should you not i posted a video why do we still need dating coaches brothers we have our passports and we can go to countries where the women are fit beautiful and feminine how much gain do you think you will need to talk to a woman in thailand brother the bare minimum Stop spending your money on dating coaches. Use that money to go overseas. But let's go back to modern life dating. Let's go to his YouTube channel. What do we see on the banner? Now, this is very interesting because modern life dating has a lot of subscribers, but he doesn't have a lot of views. His audience is not really there. So he's not really a good YouTuber, all right? But look at his particular situation. There's him, there's some white guy, and it's called Passport Show. Live streams every day, 9 a.m. Found out more here, PassportBro.net. Stop the show. PassportBro.net. Wait a minute, here are guys in the dating coach community who have never been in the Passport Bro community. A dating coach community, like with Donovan and people like that, they've never been involved. This is an African-American thing. Here are these two guys now buying the domain to passportbro.net and now trying to take over what the black guys have built. Mm. But here's more to that story. I want to play a stream from Donovan Sh uh, Sharp's last show that talks about it in detail. And the link up with David Bond, who has just traveled the world. And we're all three of us of the same mind in the sense that like, we don't want to deal with low class, trashy 304 type women. We just don't deal with it. We know the problems that it comes with. And we're past that part of our life where we would just, you know, go and date anything. Sure. And we're sure. showing guys how to do this the right way, okay. the safe way, and to meet quality good women across the world. Good, good. And a lot of guys, the mistake that they make when they go overseas is they they fuck around and they think that they're just going to get they're just going to be girls throwing themselves at them just because they're American and they have an American passport. You know what? Wow. I think he's right. It takes a lot. Listen, if if you can't get girls here in America, you're not going to be able to get girls overseas. Now, 
the key difference is, is that you have more of a chance to get girls overseas, provided you do the right things, which is what you guys are going to talk about. But I want people to understand that, yeah, this, I mean, the, this, this particular, this particular, how can I put this, this particular course or this line of thinking, um, it's already, it's, it's, it's already too late for American women. And that's why we're doing this today. Yeah, absolutely. What we're going to show you guys is the most cutting edge stuff because we're, you know, you can get on dating apps and you can do whatever you want to do um, and have success abroad, but we're taking this to a whole new level. My friend David Bond here has come out with this system that allows you to use the Facebook ads manager system wow. to find and literally target women to flip the script on you and have literally hundreds of women DMing you. Those those things you saw in the commercial, those were not screen recordings. Those yeah, were those are, yeah. yep. coming from real women. We have replicated it in all the travels we've been. We've replicated it here in Thailand as well. I'm the master of Japan and first world Asia. And we have a whole team put together as well <laughs> that is literally, instead of fighting for scraps at the bottom of a bucket, um, we're going to show you guys how to have the power in dating and be drowning with leads and be the one with choice and authority in your life. You see, guys, these dudes want to sell this course for seven hundred and ninety eight dollars. God. God. Right. <laughs> this is how thirsty these guys Sheesh. are. And now these dating coaches have come into this particular space. I will call it the con artists have come into the passport space. Man. the space of the uh, passport bro community, which was started by black men who are consistently against passport bros. And these guys are trying to monetize a movement that was against passport bros. The whole purpose of passport bros was to get away from the dating. Now these other guys out here who are losers can't get their own stuff started. So now they're trying to grift off the passport bros and try to sell courses and to infuse the dating coach community into the passport bro community, which is just totally, in my opinion, messed up. Like, how do you do that? Pass, you guys were never even a part of that. But these guys, him and David Bond, you guys are so thirsty and so untalented, you will do anything to make money. And that's what the dating coach guys are, in my honest opinion. They will do anything for money. And it's sad that these brothers who got this movement started, and it was a brotherhood, it wasn't about money, it wasn't about trying to have a leader, now here you have, in my honest opinion, guys who are largely untalented trying to grift. And now they're teaming up with Donovan. That one on the left look good, I ain't gonna lie. That's in Japan right there? Whee! I ain't gonna hold you. Guys who are largely untalented trying to grift. And now they're teaming up with Donovan Sharp trying to sell overpriced courses that don't work. And so guys, this is where we're at. I mean, Dating coaches were so unsuccessful with their own message. They're trying to get in on the community they were hating on. These were the same guys saying passport bros are broke, passport bros were dusty. Now they're trying to sell courses to them. That is so interesting. That's a good video right there, O'Shea. What do y'all think about that? The dating coaches are going to be going to the passport bro uh, community so that they can suck the life out of that too there's gonna be a lot of y'all that go overseas and just fuck up the experience and just just fuck it up for everybody i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video man peace